Hey, this is Adam with The Solar Truth. So we've been getting a lot of questions lately about the home equity resilience rebate, specifically people seeing stuff in California about free home batteries and uh, if this is true or not. So as a solar truth, we're going to go into that. Uh, it is kind of true. So every year we have a fire map of California. This is one of the qualifications. So we can go to um, uh, a SGIP uh, program spec sheet right here. This has a lot of details about the rebate program. It's kind of hard to find this, this sheet. You can, you can look up SGIP uh, data sheet and, and end up finding it through the SGIP website, which is the Self-Generation Incentive Program. This is the program through California that just got funded about a billion dollars to fund these rebates. It's a lot of money, but it's gonna go quick with all the companies doing battery backup systems right now and taking advantage of it. So normally you get 25 cents a watt rebate. What that means is you're gonna get about three to, to five thousand uh, dollars toward a battery system which is pretty good i mean you know that covers uh, about 25 percent or so of the cost of the battery like a tesla power wall or uh, um, the different battery systems out there neovolta paladin and um but the home equity resilience rebate as you can see here equity resilience uh instead of 25 cents a, a kill a, a watt or a two hundred fifty dollars a kilowatt hour. You get a thousand dollars a kilowatt hour. That's a dollar a watt. That means if you get a thirteen kilowatt battery, you get thirteen thousand dollars. About so, uh, basically, it pays for close to one hundred percent the cost of an average energy storage system installed and permitted and everything. So uh, this is pretty amazing, and it does depend on the size of the inverter, the size of the system. But the main thing is, how do you qualify for this? Who qualifies? It's pretty strict, you know, having so much money and being so big rebate, um, you know, they're not giving it to everybody. Uh, everybody just can't get, get, get a free battery, basically, uh, which, is, which is a bummer, but obviously that doesn't make sense. So um, when you see this advertised and when you see companies talking about this, you know, it's mainly, a, a, it's kind of a marketing tactic, but it also is trying to find these people that actually qualify for it. So how do you qualify? I'm gonna break it down pretty simply, one, you have to experience two public power uh, PSPSs or public safety power shutoffs. Now these are, uh, it's hard to find out. You get a notice for these, you get a letter and you know, maybe you've had a couple of those. Very, not, not very common. It was common like, you know, last year when the fires were in some areas. So, so that, that is, uh, you know, if that's happened, great, you know, have those letters, you need to verify that. Or you live in tier two or tier three fire uh, districts. And now this, is uh, what this map was. Uh, this is a bit more common. Tier two is the orange areas. Tier three is the orange reddish areas. And when you zoom in, you know, this is basically if you live near the mountains or in a mountainous area. Some tracks qualify for this. You know, you might be right on the border. Um, you know, you want to look at this map. You can actually put your address in here and, and see, you know, see where you're at. And if you uh, are in that zone, that doesn't mean you qualify yet. That is the first step. So that is um, step one, uh, and then uh, one of the following additional criteria. You live in a multifamily deed restricted housing or single family home subject to resale restriction. Now this is pretty strict, like kind of low income areas, uh, deed restriction housing, um, not super common. Um, also, you know, it's hard to say if you can afford solar uh, in that case, but you might qualify for uh, affordable home solar uh, um, programs as well. Because uh, you want solar with a battery. You can actually do battery without solar, but then uh, when the power does go out, you're going to have a limited amount of time. It's not like a generator where you're using gas. You're, you need solar to charge it in that case. So you also really do want solar with a home battery, but you don't technically need it. Uh, so if you get a free battery, you know, even if you can't or don't want solar, you know, you might want to still look into it. But... Um, the main qualifications that I see people um, uh, using are uh, medical baseline bill. If your uh, Edison bill says medical baseline on it, then um, and, and you've reported Edison and, and qualified for that, so you meet those two criteria, you're good. You're good to go. <clears throat> um, or you've just notified a utility company of a serious illness or life-threatening condition. Now, this is a little bit vague, uh, but really what this comes down to is a serious illness or life-threatening condition that requires you to need electricity so even if uh um you know i've heard some people say their uh their uh um wife is mentally ill uh that uh, uh you know i don't know if that that qualifies but 
Um, it, uh, you could try it. You could try it with Edison and, and, and see. Um, and that, that maybe is a, a common uh, uh, situation. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so then um, you've received or reserved other solar-related incentives. This would be like affordable housing for solar and stuff. So that's not going to be super common either. The main, probably most common thing that I see is this one. Home relies on electric well pump for water. So you have a well pump that provides your house. Uh, you need that water. If the power goes off, there you go. Uh, most people in uh, that have a well pump will be in a fire zone. So this is actually a really big one. Um, so um, now is this just fluff or how true is this? Well, um, let's, let's actually uh, show you this rebate. Um, so I did, uh, um, I've helped people out with this. And here is a rebate for $54,000. This is a, this is a 57 thousand kilowatt battery it's big it's gonna you know even without solar uh, you'd be able to run most town homes like a week uh, off this and if you have solar uh indefinitely you could pretty much just disconnect from the grid and be good but i would still want you to be on the grid for uh unless you have a big generator or something for backup plus time of use you get extra credit uh being connected to the grid too for uh you know just a pretty small 10 to 15 buck fee a month so anyway, this is true. This is actually a rebate reservation that I put in here to, for a $54,143 battery. And generally, uh, what you can do is uh, finance this uh, um, for the short term. And then um, before the financing even starts or just after a couple payments, you get that rebate and you pay it off. And sometimes this rebate, uh, big ones like this, even you get additional that covers part of your solar system too or something. It's, it's, it's really, really crazy. But most people are going to be like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Look into it and they don't qualify. That, that's kind of, you know, what might happen. But you definitely want to look into this. And especially if you are in a fire zone. So this particular rebate right here, let me show you where that was. So we're in Southern California here, Temecula. You know, we have a lot of Fallbrook, San Diego, mountain areas. You know, this, this particular one was actually in Wildemar, which, um, you know, if we go in here, that is, uh, you know, this whole area here, it was actually in um, right around here. Um, so kind of near Canyon Lake. We have a, um, yeah, right in, right in this area. Anyway, that whole area qualifies, um, you know, Ca Canyon Lake. Oh, there we go. There's Canyon Lake. Canyon Lake doesn't qualify a lot of it because it's, uh, you know, near the water and, and tracks and stuff. But anywhere south of that and um, just a lot of different areas around here with even track neighborhoods and stuff. This particular one was a little bit more rural. It was like off a dirt road. Um, they Everybody has a well out there and they're in the fire zone. So, you know, uh, people need to know this. I mean, this, this has a, a bit of money, but it's not going to last long because uh, people are going to find this out and they're going to take advantage of it. The, the, this is pretty strict. You have to go through quite a bit of steps to get this rebate reserved and locked in. Um, so you want to look into it, but hey, uh, for $54,000 for free, um, it's kind of worth it to, to do that. And, um, you know, in, in six months to a year, 12, uh, six, uh, a year and a half, uh, it, the money's going to be gone and this will never happen again. So it's something where just like the solar rebate 10 years ago when you got a rebate from actually the utility company, that was amazing. And it was actually a check. And that's what this is too. It's not a tax credit. You actually get a tax credit on top of this. But if this rebate covers your whole cost of your system, then you don't get a tax credit because you didn't pay anything. But, you know, you get the tax credit for the solar system, you know, still 26%. Um, so yeah, this is really good. And, and people need to realize and look into this, check it out, uh, talk to, uh, email the solar truth, um, and we can let, look into it for you. Um, so yeah, uh, hope to see you soon. And if you have any questions, definitely email us, Instagram, Facebook message, uh, and we will get back to you and, and we can help you see if you qualify or not. Uh, I'll put a link to this fire map on here and you can look up if you're on that. And I can probably put a link to uh, that, the, this uh, um, page here too, where it, see, it says the different qualifications and just different links and different info about this rebate as well. So see you next time on The Solar Truth. Thank you.